Hello, good morning, good afternoon, or good night, whatever time you're watching this video. Uh, today, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna go over touch math. So this is a lesson purely on touch math. So what touch math is, it's a way we can learn the numbers that kind of help help us do addition or subtraction more simply. So first I'm gonna present the numbers, just one through five today, I'll do part two later, so we get the basics done. So, touch math. This is a, a one, we all know a one. And I have a dot on there, the dot is called a touch point. Here's a two. I have two touch points on two. So I'm gonna present the numbers first, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'll do an example of how this helps us do math. Here's three with three touch points, four, one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. So instead of using my fingers to count or a number line, these touch points help us learn and help us count. So here's number one. One touch point. This is the touch point. Two. Here's our two. And on the two, you can see there's two touch points. One, two. Next is three. Normal three. Now I add the touch points. One, two, three. One, two, three. For four, There's typically two ways to write the number four, this way or this way. They're the same, it's the same number. I find it easier to write the touch points on this one. One, two, three, four. But if your preference is to write this four, we can do our touch points like that. One, two, three, four. I like this one. I think it's easier to do the touch points and stay organized, stay on track. Uh, in the classroom, I promote this kind of four. Although on my calendar, you'll see four shown as this one. It doesn't matter as long as we remember there's four touch points, writing them's the same, but I'm gonna use this type of four. So I will rewrite it nice and big with four touch points. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Next is five. Here is our five. Now I'm gonna add the touch points. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So these are our numbers, one through five with the touch points added. Now I'm gonna do some simple addition. One plus two. I can add the touch points and now I can easily count that. One, two, three. Oh, so I counted to three with the touch points. What lets me know there's that the answer is three. So, Four plus two. Here's another equation. Four, I'm gonna add the touch points. Plus two. Four plus two, I know that's gonna add up because of the plus sign, it's addition. So four, five, six. Four plus two equals six. And I'm using the touch points. One, two, three, four, five, six as a way to count. The other way, so 
assume this is a number line, four, five, six. The touch points kind of serve as a number line or our fingers. So four plus two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Four plus two equals six. Let's do five. I got my touch points written on the five and I'll add three with the touch points written on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know five has five touch points. I know three has three touch points. And then I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to get my final number eight. So touch points are a cool way. They help us count easily. The first part is just knowing where the touch points go and then using them to count. So I have two twos with the touch points being on the ends. One, two, three, four. Two plus two is four. Whoops, sloppy four there on my part. But two plus two is four and I use the touch points. One, two, three, four. Now, I did a bunch of addition. I'm gonna do some subtraction, still using the touch points. So, here we go. And this is, and again, this is called Touch Math. It's a program that promotes addition and learning, and addition and subtraction, and it helps us learn helps us do our addition and subtraction. I have five minus one. So this is a minus, cause it's just a line. This is a minus, this is a plus. But I want subtraction. I wanna do an example of subtraction. So using my fingers, not the best, but that's okay. Five, so I have one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm gonna go back one. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'm counting backwards. Four. Five minus one is four. And, oops, here I'll show you. Five minus one is four. And I'm gonna stay with subtraction. I'm gonna rewrite it so it's not so sloppy. I'm gonna do a bigger number. So I have five minus three. So one, two, three, four, five. This subtraction sign lets me know I'm going backwards. So I'm gonna count backwards. Five, four, three, two. So five minus three is two. Um, mixing it up, I'm going back to addition. I'm doing five plus five. So I have five plus five written. I'm adding the touch points to help me easily navigate this equation. And this plus, it's a line, and then a perpendicular line. This is a plus sign. A um, subtraction sign is a straight line. That's the difference. So this plus sign lets me know it's addition. So I'm gonna count up, starting five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So five plus five is 10. And here's my equation. I'll do, mix it up, three plus four. And on purpose, I'm just doing the numbers one through five because it gets a little bit more complicated with six, seven, eight, and nine. But in a future video, I will demonstrate those as well. So here's three plus four. I'm gonna add the touch points. Remember on the threes, it's kind of the top, middle, bottom. The fours, it's like I'm making a square. And best practice, we wanna start with a higher number. So four, five, six, seven. Here's the final equation. 
equals. This is our equal sign. It's two lines together. Um, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, those are kind of weird because, <laughs> you know, it's one's a line, one's two lines, and one's a perpendicular line. For us, it's, it's pretty straightforward, but for students, that can be confusing because it's just kind of abstract symbols. But here's the final equation, three plus four equals seven. So equals, it's telling us what it is, what, what these two things make. Three plus four make seven. Final equation. I'll do four plus, hmm, four plus four, that's a good one. So here's my, my numbers before the touch points are added. I'm gonna put my touch points. I wrote the fours how I like to do them. One, two, three, four. And I'm just gonna count because it's addition. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Sloppy eight, but that's okay. I'm writing backwards and upside down. Four plus four equals eight. Four plus four makes eight. However you want to say it. So I'll do, again, using the numbers one through five, I'll do a subtraction with bigger numbers. I got five minus four. I'm adding the touch points. I got four out of the touch points. So f I'm going to start with five and I'm going to count backwards because it's this line here. This means minus, take away, subtraction, whatever you want to call it. So five, four, three, two, one. Oh, let's me know. Whoops. <laughs> let's me know. Five minus four equals one. So those are some quick examples of touch math. I'm just going to go ahead and go back through and show us the number, show us the touch point. One, it's a straight vertical line. I add the touch point up top. One, one. So, and then I've, there's the fancier way to write one. It looks like this. It's got a hook and it's a one. It's a straight line or this is a one, however you want to do it. I can still add my touch point and it's the same. One. Here's a beautiful two I wrote. Two. The touch points are at the top and up at the bottom. So where the two starts and where it ends. One, two. Next is a three. Here's my three. I'm gonna add the touch points. Top, middle, bottom. One, two, three. Three. Next is four. I will demonstrate the two fours again. This is the four I like. I, I just find it easier. Students remember on the tops and then where it intersects in this little corner. One, two, three, four. Again, a lot of times fours are written like this. And that's okay. We just got to remember one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, our touch points. And five. Here's a nice five. I'm gonna put one at the top, our points in the middle of the loop, and at the end. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Those are our touch points. I'll do a couple, I'll do two more examples of addition, two more examples of subtraction. This is addition. So this means things are coming together to make more. Addition sign. 
subtraction sign. That means things, something is being taken away from one number, so it's going to end up with a smaller number at the end. And our equal sign, we have our equation over here, equals, so this is the final number we get. This tells us what it equals, so what it is. So two more addition signs, I'm going to do three plus two. So I have my three, I have my two, I got my touch points added. I can just count up all the touch points. That's one way to do it. One, two, three, plus three plus two. One, two, three, four, five. So I just added all the touch points together. The other thing I can do is I'm gonna start with three, four, five. And we get the same answer regardless. Next equation, it's another addition, four plus three. Four plus three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Four plus three, I counted all the touch points and I got seven, or I can start at four, five, six, seven. And that's my final equation, pretty awesome. I'm gonna do two subtraction problems and then I'll call it a lesson. I got four minus two, I'm adding the touch points. Thank you for your patience. Four minus, this is minus because it's just a straight line. One, two, three, four, minus. Now it's tricky because I got to count backwards. Four, three, two. Four minus two equals two. Four, three, two equals two. And I'll do one more. Uh, three minus three. Ooh, we're getting tricky. This might equal a number we haven't talked about. Three minus three. One, two, three. I'm gonna count backwards. Three, two, one. Whoops. Three, two, one, zero. Three, two, one, zero. Uh, zero is like an O. Sometimes it has a slash through it, but it's the same. So, 3 minus 3 equals 0. It's been a quick addition to touch math. Um, it's pretty cool. We It helps. Uh, I use it sometimes, and it helps students uh, just simplify mathematics. And that's what we want. We want things to be easy, understandable, and fun. So, that's touch math. Um, and we'll go from there. I'll post part 2 uh later on and we'll go from there when we're ready for the next level all right thank you bye